fucking dagger guy? That's me. I dance with motherfucking Sneely Snag Connor the Sneely and Sneak, yo. I'm not gonna remember. Ooh, they're not gonna believe me. Uh, she like throws you a really hearty handshake and just like jostles you. And another truth is, well, the Kaboom crew really did kill Ricky, but I killed that motherfucker. Spike, Spark, Sparky, Sparky. Killed him with one clean dagger throw to the head. Listen, nobody could ever, no, Ricky. nobody could ever, ever beat me in a knife fight and then lie to my face. No matter what you would say, I would believe it. Thank you. You're a part of the family now. That jacket, you wormed it. Oh, oh shit. Boring. Fuck. <laughs> yes. I can't wait for Jimmy to boil our, <laughs> boil our eyes from our skulls. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, you're going up in the tower, right? I'd like to, yeah. Tommy told me not to let anybody up unless they could beat me in a night dance. And you did so pretty handily. So let's get those fucking chairs out of the way, huh? Uh, completely hypothetically, well, let's say I had some cohorts. The cohorts? Why do you like Jersey accent? Co- <laughs> cohorts. It's so hard to like co- you join them. What if I had some co- some coats? Co- cohort? Co- cohorts. Cohort. Co- Hogwarts. <laughs> cohorts. Mer- some cohorts. Comrades. <laughs> You have some mer. Uh, well, I mean, Murder. I guess you could, uh, hmm, see, that one's tough. It'll be one thing to, to tell Tommy, hey, this guy, uh, he almost killed me if I gave him a real knife, but I don't give people real knives. Uh, and I gotta let him up, but how many guys you got? Well, I got, all in all, all guy I got four. Four guys, huh? Roll persuasion with advantage. That's that's not me. The persuasion is not me. <laughs> Ooh, persuasion is not me, baby. <laughs> All right, that's a twelve. Listen, James. I you snap. <laughs> right, right, Sned. I'm sorry. I just that Jimmy. Was... Jimmy's like. You gotta be Jimmy from now on. I gotta be Jimmy from now on. You're Jimmy. He's gonna get no, like you're two Jimmy. Jimmys. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Listen, Sneely. It could be Sneely. Also, Sneely. Is it fucking Jimmy the head on show? Tommy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> fucking me. Jimmy. Listen, Sneely. Jimmy is little Tommy. <laughs> I respect you at all. But I can only give you one. I can give you one. One person that I bring with me? Yeah. The other one's gonna have to fight me. To fight you? Yeah. yeah, yeah to fight. Like the same sort of thing that we did? Yeah. Um. Could I go downstairs and tell him? Go for it. Alright. Listen, Steven. It's your family now. Always remember. Of course, Janet. I don't wanna like do like a sort of like a brother. Like, handshake. And remember, because you are family, never forget. Blood is thicker than water. Now go get your friends. Boy, was the same, though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Blood is thick. <laughs> I, oh, fuck. <laughs> your blood might actually be thicker than water now. She's got sand full of you. I, nice. I start going downstairs, and as I start going downstairs, I'm like... I'm still smiling. It's not like I'm I'm not I'm not like trying to pull a performance or anything. Though I I had legitimate fun, and I had not felt and I a and I, good time. Yeah, I sort of I sort of like say getting in a knife fight. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 so, yeah. I sort of say like under my breath like, wow, I, I haven't felt this way. And as I'm this is just to myself. I haven't really felt this way since. Yeah, I I miss you. I miss you, Freely Fred. 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 Freely just good, good just body on friends. I had, listen, Freely I have the charisma of negative <laughs> one. Freely Fred was my only friend in the Thief's Tower. Uh, but then, were your friends? But then was killed. 
we're we're like we're, we're part of a team. We're acquaintances. But like Freely Fred was a friend. Okay. You know, and like Freely Fred, this is part of my backstory. Uh-huh. This is why I had a hint of sadness be- behind my eyes. Okay, what happened to Freely Fred? Uh, Fre- Freely Fred Got was uh, Freely Fred was killed by um, uh, Elaine, like uh, because of some dispute, and that's that's like sort of the. That's my motivation for wanting to go to the top. It's for okay. the honor of Freely Fred. I also, uh, for when Freely Fred uh, died, I did go and and loot his corpse in a sort like in in a in a like sort of we're thieves. Respectful. This is how we respect. Respectful looting. Like I don't want. Like, I don't do you want... have a, a small shrine somewhere like just with a picture of him and then like all of his stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't want. And no one else deserves his stuff, you know. And I'm not using it for my personal gain. It's just to, to yeah. Uh, freely. All right. Uh, you guys see Steely's <laughs> head come down the stairs, and he, he's kind of sniffling. Hey, hey, Sned. Oh, yeah, you okay? How, how's it going? I was about to ask you, Dad. How'd it go up there? It was... What's up there? It was good. What's up there? Uh, Janet. <laughs> oh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Janet, she... she, she also, was... you have noticed that since he's come back down, he is wearing a leather jacket and his hair is... <laughs> <laughs> She's part of the family. You've got native. <laughs> the family? What? Who's the oh, family? Sorry, the, um, the, uh, the, uh... Valgustama. The Valgustama. The, the Greases. You mean, the, you know, the one that we just pushed down a big <laughs> stance? No, I did Not, not less, but you agreed to the play. Not less than, like, ten minutes ago? Agreed is a strong word. I just said we need to do go out. I just said we need to do you something. You said you agree with the majority. <laughs> Which was the, also, uh, Greg uh, Gezo and Jimmy well, went up the other stairs. I've heard a lot of random bear trap like noises <laughs> <laughs> coming from those stairs. Bear okay, well, it fun. looks like they got a handle. So, here's the thing with my situation uh, what happened happened, but I, uh, well, I had an interaction, a good interaction with <laughs> Janet, and I'm allowed okay. to bring one of you up with me past Janet. Um, yeah, because we just had a wholesome moment or something. Um, but, and, and if someone okay, else that's... wants to come with us, you have to sort of, like, beat her in a, like, a weird knife fight. Um. So you yeah? Saying... <laughs> I, I beat her in a knife fight, but I beat her so good. Why ain't she dead? <laughs> uh, because, uh, well, I, I was using a fake knife. Why were you using a fake knife? Well, it was a knife fight. Yeah, she gave me a fake knife to use. Did, so it was so she gave you a fake knife. Yeah. Why are you saying family all of a sudden? You're part of the betrayers. <laughs> she was real nice to you're me. You're literally a. Fu- <laughs> hey, Sneely, don't forget who your people are. I'm not gonna forget you. Don't worry, I'm not gonna forget you guys. Took you in after that poor time with Freely. Fre- Fre- listen, Fred. Listen. <laughs> As okay. you're trying to leave you, without you, everyone else. Did you say okay. Freely, Fred? Listen, after we took you in after what happened with poor old Fred. All right, don't listen. For- don't forget listen. what we're here for. What, wait, what's your character name again? Uh, Saul Squeaker yeah. Squawk and Stopper. Listen, <laughs> listen, Saul. <laughs> listen, Saul. That that. We teammates. On point. That that killed me. I say, I, I look at you like really seriously, and I'm like, listen, Saul. Squeaker. We're teammates. All right, we're acquaintances. We're we're the betrayers or whatever the fuck. But, and hear me clearly here. Don't use Freely Fred's name. To, to try to convince me to do something. Freely Fred, he deserves more respect than that. And just don't, don't fucking do that again, all right? I'm sorry, I just have a few problems with you suddenly coming down talking about how you're part of a new family. That's, that's, after you got in a knife fight with the person who gave you a fake knife, after we literally just pushed down one of our friends down a flight of fucking stairs. Listen, yeah, listen, that's a whole separate thing. <laughs> the Freely Fred thing is not connected at all. Don't use Freely Fred's name to try to sway me into anything. Freely Fred was a dear friend. That wasn't what I was trying friend. to... That wasn't what was the point of what I was saying. I'm saying remember what we're here for and what we're doing. 
I remember Yo, when your hair's like, greased like one of them fucking Alice fucks. You're wearing the jacket and now they're your family. What the fuck happened up there? Listen, I got us, I got us, I got me and one, someone else. One of us still at the night fight, them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's like, two more people. There's two more people upstairs. Aren't you pretty good with a knife? Yeah, I'm good with a knife. And listen, I'll talk to Janet. I'll convince her. I'll see if she's not going to attack on site, first of all. We can talk. Second of all, I'll, I'll tell her, hey, how about you both use fake knives? Oh, God. She wasn't using a fake knife! <laughs> she gave you a fake knife, and she had a real knife? Do you want to go up past, past Janet with me? What if I get the free pass, and the one that's, that's fighting you that's gets what the I, knife fight? That's what I was saying. Okay. He's got a nice yeah. fight. <laughs> I got a better idea. How about you bring up just one, and I'll go by invisibly. Okay? Go through the doll, sneak through. I can do that. Um... Tell her that the other one's staying down here or something. You don't know. In fact, I will stay down here for all you care. I mean, why, why don't... I mean, I'm already... Because I don't want to get into a knife fight but no. where I don't have a real knife. I'll tell you... Well, you I feel use, like I'm not being ridiculous here. You both use fake knives. I still don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want This is real good. Listen. I'll listen, just tell... So just take... Pebbles, the goblin, here's, up with you, and I'll sneak by with my invisibility. Here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. Oh god. <laughs> I'll say, I don't want to force you into anything. You want to do your sneaky bullshit, you can do that. That's fine. I feel like but, this is the sneaky normal but, while the night fight is bullshit. But I did not listen to this, and I did not agree with this. You voted with them! <laughs> I did not listen to this. I did not agree you with this. You specifically voted with the other two. You you came up the stairs after us. I didn't know you were doing this. All right, this is the story. If things go sideways, I can try to talk it down. Is that? All right. I'll, I'm just gonna sneak by invisibly. I'm a good sneaker. Just go by with Pebbles. Get Pebbles through, and I'll follow you too. Okay. All right. All I'm right. I'm gonna take off my Rocky Balboa disguise. <laughs> I still had it on. <laughs> Okay. Before I meet Janet. Gotcha. I cast invisibility on myself. Just, just Let's, act like yeah. everything's normal and yeah. that you're taking pebbles through. Let's go. Okay. Uh, the three of you go upstairs. I chew my gum and cast invisibility. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh yeah. Oh shit! We're in the middle of bear trap snap. Are we? Five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Here's the thing, your tiny locusts don't get snapped by the traps, right. but it does release this big spray of electricity. Hey! Right. Four damage. Oh. How much health does a swarm of locusts have? I want to de locust myself. Okay. Well, that that. So, wait, that leaves what? Two bear traps? Two bear traps, yeah. You got daggers. We can just not test them. I was gonna say, we can just kind of leave it now. Yeah. So let's open the door? Yeah. Pull the knife out of the door and open it up. Yeah. Uh, you pull the knife out of the door and you open the... Who's opening the door? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Give me a dexterity saving throw. You don't got that one. What? You don't have a, a dex save. You have strength, con, and whiz. Oh, okay. So what... what you just add five. Okay. Nine. Okay. All right. So as you like touch the door handle, like the second you grab it, the fuck off uh, just starts to glow really brightly, and it just like shoots out this huge wave of fire at you. Take six. Rough. Ouchie. Don't erase that. That's your back self. Oh, okay. You want to keep that just for, like great six damage. Or something. Okay. Was the door open? Uh, no. Feel free to try. Uh, ah. You didn't even get to turn it. You just touched it. Okay. Hmm. Like those prank doors, you know? Basically, but the prank is fire. You want to try it again? 
<laughs> and then I reach out my hand and I give you a little touch. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you touching me? I cast protection from energy. Okay, what's the dip? Con- concentrating for an hour, I can touch a willing creature and give them resistance to acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. Love okay. that. And I give fire resistance. All right. Cool, let's do it. <laughs> reach for the knob again. <laughs> uh, you, like, cautiously, like, reach out for the doorknob, and you touch it. <laughs> what do you do? Turn the turn handle, it. turn the handle. Turn the handle. Yeah. yeah. Pull it open. You pull the, uh, you pull the door. Give me that stairs thing. God. Uh, 12. Uh, okay. Success, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So... <laughs> As soon as you, like, open the door, the, like, spot where the fuck off was, like, lights up again and just, like, blasts you with another, uh, bolt of fire. You, like, try to move out of the way a little bit, but it, like, hits you for pretty much every- it hits you, like, square in the face. Uh, but the protection that Ghetto gave you, it caused a little bit of it to, to flake off. Okay. Uh, take three. Cool. You take- Half a three, because you have resistance to fire. No, you take three. Oh, you're Because it's half a six. Oh, I thought it was six. I thought it was three. Hell so, yes. does the door not open then? The door is open now. Oh, solid. Yeah. I walk through the door. Uh, you <laughs> Thank walk... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you walk through the door, and you see a tiny desk, and there's like a folded piece of paper on it that says, Congratulations. Wow, I hate this. <laughs> I cast... Produce Flame. And I throw it at the, the little thing. Uh, you throw it at the, the little piece of paper, and nothing happens. Is the paper on fire? <laughs> so on that, I suggest that we should just head on out. I got my ice bear trap. We can just go see what the others are doing. There's a, there's a staircase up at the, at the back of this room. We can go. Yeah, let's go up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, oh, didn't you want to? I don't want to touch the paper. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I there's also a um, so it's like a desk and there's a drawer and there's a little piece of paper. I want to carefully open the drawer. Oh, no. Can you... I can I roll for preparedness? <laughs> <laughs> roll sleight of hand. It's dex, right? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> what did you get? Oh <laughs> no! Okay. <laughs> Can I carefully open the door? No, you can't. Like, you physically cannot. You cannot. You, you suddenly start vibrating. Um, you, like, pull open uh, the the drawer, and you hear, like, the click, and you're like, oh! And you're like, you, you recoil so much that you, like, knock the paper over, and you hear a second click. And somewhere from within this table, you just get this blast of electricity. Take 19. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> also, uh, as you watch this, um, what's your passive perception? It's 10 plus what your wisdom is, because you don't have perception. Uh, so it's plus my wisdom modifier? Mm-hmm. So it's 11. Jesus, fuck. Okay. Um, you see uh, that <laughs> after this explosion, uh, Gezo's head just kind of like goes like, Argh! still holding the drawer, and you see like the tiny glint of a small ring like fly through the air. Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw if you would like to try to catch this ring. I'd love to try to catch it. Uh, 19. Ooh. Okay, all right. So this ring like sails through the air and like careens off of uh, one of the walls, like right next to the window. And as it bounces back, you just like put your hand out and it goes. Boop. Love that. You have a tiny little ring in your hand. Okay. I mean, pocket it. I'm gonna ask someone about it later. All right, cool. Uh, so I pick you up off the ground. I want to look in the drawer that I saw. It was <laughs> like this. Let's there is a very crude um, charcoal drawing of a middle finger. <laughs> God. I want to. I love the Kaboom Crew. I want to cast Sacred Flame in my hands and then burn the drawer. And then I want to cast. Well, no, I want to burn the drawer and then throw the flame at the desk. Uh, you uh, wrap your hand in flame and you touch the drawer, but it does not catch at all. And when you throw the fire at the desk, it doesn't catch either. Fuck. 
just put the drawer back. We gotta go. <laughs> I throw. I take the drawer with me out the door, and I throw it at one of the bear traps. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it like lands on one of the bear traps, and it uh, sprays out. Oh, God. Acid, just, and it melts. I just imagine like. There's the scene, you guys go in the room, the door closes, we're still on the door. We just hear a loud explosion. <laughs> the door opens, a drawer is thrown out, and the thing goes off. And then we cut immediately, you're like, huh, nice ring. <laughs> I want to go back downstairs. You've got real anger issues. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. I'm coming back downstairs. Uh, all right, you... you... Like, charred. Where do you walk? Downstairs. No, I mean like like where you walk over the the disarmed bear traps or like around. I walk around the disarmed bear traps. That's a sketchy question to ask. I don't want to <laughs> touch the bear traps. Give me a dexterity. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Nineteen. Fuck off. Okay. All right. <laughs> so as you like you you see the bear traps and you're like. So you like walk on the outside perimeter and as you do, uh, you make a step and you hear a click, and then uh, from. Uh, from a little crack at like the bottom where the, the wall meets the floor, uh, a little hole uh, pops out and just like a of ice comes out. Uh, you manage to get out of the way of most of it. Uh, but a it's a 19! <laughs> Half a successful save, brother. Have you, uh, you got evasion. Take ha- one. Have you played Divinity Original Sin? I know. It just it just reminds me of many rooms in that game where the, you just like take a step and there is a chain explosion of fifty mines. Uh, let's see. Uh, I I have a a line here that I will read now. Uh, this entire room is trapped we to all got hell. Um, the first room, the tutorial, we couldn't get out because we kept starting fights. That was a bit of a real some tooth. Um, you step downstairs back in the common room and you don't see anybody. I go up the way that I know I that Sans went. That Sans Undertale went. I go up that oh, way. Okay. Well, I was going up. Um, oh, okay. Uh, so what do you do? I'm gonna go up the stairs. Okay. <laughs> you oh, three different fucking respect moves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I need to stop the water. Um, <laughs> you step upstairs. Sorry, cheese brother. And as Sorry, you do. <laughs> You hear. Yes. Can I see your phone really quick? There is a song that. Excuse me. There's a song. There's a song. Uh, you begin to walk up the staircase, and <laughs> you hear a light piano melody. Uh, <laughs> this staircase lasts a pretty long time. Uh, and you're just like walking and walking and walking. And you think for a second about turning around, but something is telling you that you just need to keep moving forward. Ginny, you continue moving upward. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that you can really focus on is the sound of your footsteps and the sound of your weapons kind of jingling in their holsters as you continue walking up. You do not know how long it is you've been walking. Uh, just the, the constant sound of the music and the re- repetition of the footsteps has completely destroyed your sense of time. Uh, whether it's been a few minutes or a few hours, you have no idea. But eventually, you get big. <laughs> eventually, you get to this small room. Uh, it smells of very dark tea. Um, there is a cool breeze blowing through, and you realize that it's not the kind of like dry, arid heat wind that you're, you're, you're accustomed to after being in a thieves tower. This is more of a cool wind. It's a calming wind. And there, sitting at a table, is a figure who has a uh, kind of a pyramid hat on. You know the ones that um, like rice farmers would wear? Okay. Yeah. Um, you see the figure uh, take a sip of tea beneath their face, or beneath their hat, uh, not revealing their face. Um, 
I was going to say, beneath their face. Beneath their face. Like surreal um, horror <laughs> shit. They just like open up their throat. <laughs> they uh, place their teacup down, and you hear a voice say, Welcome. Jimmy? Yes? Uh, I ask them who the hell they are. Uh, the figure motions a very fair hand to a cushion at the side of the table. I refuse to sit. You hear the figure laugh. Um, I want you to give me a wisdom saving throw. So I have that here, yeah? So what yeah. does that do? You add your proficiency as well as your wisdom to the roll. Okay. You're extra good at it. So that is 13. Okay. Um, after you hear uh, this person chuckle, uh, they once again say, You should really take a seat. Again, not revealing their face. But when they say it this time, there's something powerful about it. It sounds like it's coming not only from the figure, but from everywhere around you and from inside of your own head. And before you know it, your body is moving towards the, uh, the little cushion. Uh, you move over and you take off your boots and you just kind of sit there, kneel. Okay. Uh, I ask again who they are. We'll have to wait until your friends get here. Well, <laughs> in the meantime, though, treat yourself to some tea. And they pour a tea, or they snap their fingers, and a tea set appears in front of them with uh, five cups. And the figure pours some tea, which is pitch black, out and sets it in front of them. The black tea has high caffeine. Yum. Uh, I'm gonna, can I, like, try to fake drink the tea? You can't try yet. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Uh, roll deception. I did that one. Am I? Yeah. Yes, Cha cha. Real smooth. So it's, do I just add? You just add that number. Okay. So then that is 24. Or 22. Okay. Um, you pull the, uh, the tea up to your mouth and you like seamlessly just like pull it up, take the motion as if you were drinking and then bring it back down. But you do notice that whatever is in that cup, it is definitely not tea. Gotcha. It is thick. It's coarse. It smells strongly of iron. <gasps> and it was moving. Oh. Uh. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Everybody else! <laughs> um, <laughs> you two move up to... to uh, you move up into the, uh, the room that Janet was in, and she's in the back uh, just kind of like throwing chairs uh, at the side, or throwing chairs like across the room as she's like digging to get behind this burn of chairs that she made. When do I get here? Um, it'll be not even on cool. the stairs. You haven't even gone upstairs yet. Um, uh, there's you, another floor. Uh, <laughs> you uh, see that as she like picks up a particularly heavy desk, it's like a big long desk, kind of like as long as this one is. Uh, she just kind of like. <laughs> And she like throws it behind her and it like slams down to the ground and as she like turns she's like, oh. Hey. Uh, is this is this your friend? This is my friend. Ah, nice, 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 nice. I'm Pebbles. Pebbles? Pleasure to meet you. Uh I guess you're Sneely Sned's uh friend, uh, accomplice. You working for him? Working with him? With. Ah, okay. Hmm. Right, right, right. Y'all are the betray. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's like an internal joke. Yeah. <laughs> it's something I kind of came up with it. Here's, here's Sne- Sneely, Sneely, Sneely. I'm going to have to ask you to stand right over there really quick. Um, <laughs> Pebbles, you mind if I talk to Sneely really quick? Do what you want. I'm going to follow them. I walk over to... Yeah. I'm going to listen. Sneely, what the fuck? Are you part of the... I did... I did tell me that the phrase is just like a cool name. Okay, so... so. 
Here's what happened. It was a weird, a really weird flashback happened where we discussed the origin of this name, uh-huh. and uh, we were just thinking, oh, what what do the other teams not do? Like, what 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 do they not do? How do how can we like make ourselves unique? And we said that teams do not betray each other, so let's call ourselves the betrayers. It was just a funny, it was a dumb joke that we did, and we're just n- known as that now. It's it's Neely, I gotta say that's some of the dumbest shit I ever heard. It's kinda dumb, I know. But... Ooh. Don't make me regret this. Listen, Janet... Oh, damn it. And... <laughs> damn it, Janet. <laughs> um, I don't... I don't say this lightly, but... I... I actually do feel some kind of, like, kinship with you. I wanna dance with you again sometime. Interesting. When this is all over. I mean, maybe I guess this is... You realize that it was like a life or death thing, right? I know, but like it was... Like, we could have died. <laughs> well, you wouldn't have. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was fun, yeah. I got some sort of adrenaline All right. Junkie. <laughs> All right, Pebbles. So, well, let's, uh, let's get these fucking chairs out of the way, right? Uh, everybody roll athletics. God. <laughs> I just kind of stand in the back and watch them. I listen to that conversation. 16. Uh, I, I rolled a 20. 20? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the three of you begin, like, hefting, uh, hey, you're not allowed to play Magic the Gathering. Uh, Unless you do play Magic the Gathering. I do. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get that ratchet bomb proxy. Well, I, I saw that it was a shock, and I was like, wait, there's a, a thing on it. <laughs> Um, the three of you work to pull these chairs off of the wall, and slowly but surely you eventually see a door, uh, up here, um, uh, behind this. And, uh, the, the door is still, like, a ways away, and Janet is just, like, pulling chairs and pulling chairs and pulling chairs, and eventually she's like, you know what, fuck it, we're not gonna use these anymore. And so she, like, sticks her hands in her pockets and she pulls out these two, uh, brass knuckles and she just starts, like, beating the fuck out of these chairs. Like, Yo, fuck I yeah, wanna, I, I wanna, wanna do that. Yeah, I wanna join. I'll hide you some brass knuckles. Okay. I also yeah, you have three knuckles. pairs, don't you? Yeah. Or two pairs. Yeah. Alright, let's push the fuck out of these. <laughs> so, then maybe, maybe three minutes or so, you guys get to the other end of this mountain of chairs. Um, and there's the door. And she's standing in front of it, and she says, Now listen, I'm not going to be able to come with you, because I still got to guard the door, all right? But when you see Tommy, um, there's a, there's going to be a, a code phrase, all right? You going to be able to remember it? <coughs> sure, I'll write it down on my character sheet. All right, listen. When you see Tommy, tell him, that you're greasier than Auntie Anne's frying pan. <laughs> Wait, so do, do I tell him that you're, like I said, no, you're... No, no, you go up to him, and if he says, like, hey, who are you? You'd be like, uh, you know me, I'm greasier than Auntie Anne's frying pan, or uh, just sliding in a conversation somewhere, and if, he might ask you a question like, hey, what's your favorite food? And you'll say, I don't know, anything off of, uh, I, I can't stand anything that's not greasier than Auntie Anne's frying pan. All right, I'm greasier than Auntie Anne's frying pan. There you go. That's that's exactly what you want. All right. <laughs> and no matter what you do, no matter what you do, never ever mention Uncle Tony's danger rigatoni. All right, Uncle Tony's <laughs> what? Danger rigatoni. <laughs> if you do, Tommy will gut you like a fish. What happened? What? Don't even ask. The less you know, the better. I shouldn't even say that shit. Now get your ass in there. And she opens up. Rigatoni. Uncle Tony's. (laughs) Danger Rigatoni. Danger Rigatoni. All right, thanks. Thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip, Janet. And. Yeah, I. Wait, and uh, for you, Pebbles. Does Pebbles have hair? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, it's the goblin. Do they have hair? Do you balance up here? Tell me. Yes. Yes? Yes. It's long flowing locks of hair that reaches their feet because they're so small. Okay. Um, <laughs> she like, uh, she like reaches into her back pocket and she's like, uh, she produces this, um, this, uh, tub of grease 
And uh, she like opens it up and it's blue, but there's barely any left. And she's like, oh, yeah. fuck. Um, I can do. The, the, I got the. I got some more grease here if you want. No, I mean, is, is it blue kind? The book. I'll check. <laughs> it's not. It's not the blue kind. All right. Well, um, uh, you know how to do grease. Do I know how to do grease? You know how to use the grease, like what, a spell? What the fuck? Oh. Like you shoot grease out of your fingertips? I do not know. I do not how to. I do not know how to magic. Listen. Check the inside of your jacket. I check the inside of my jacket. Is it just grease? <laughs> <laughs> there is like a pocket and a very tiny scroll is like rolled up in there. And she points to it and she's like, You ever need to style your hair? You don't have any grease on you? Be sure to use that. But for now, we're gonna have to how do this I use, Do I just like unroll it and it just happens? It's like an instruction manual. It teaches you exactly how to grease. Well, I see. Could I open it up and read it and then roll it back up? Yes. All right, I'll do that. I want to open up for me. What does it say? Uh, it is like a, <laughs> it's like a weird recipe for like how to hold your fingers and like what exactly to say to get grease to come out of them. God. <laughs> um, you know that if you read it, uh, it will like burn and triple up. I see. Yeah. Uh, so I already you, read it. You, you read it? <coughs> when you do it, you gotta you gotta hold it because like most of the magic is gonna come from the scroll, right? You just gotta like do the things. And... So it didn't burn up when I read it just now. No, it didn't burn up when you read it just okay. now. Okay. Still holding it. All right. And I, I roll it up and put it back. <laughs> I say you can act a voice. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do this once hand. We can either use this grease, and she like sticks her fingers up and like spurts of grease come out. Oh, we can use that grease. It's up to you. Pebbles, well, it's, up, it's up to you. It's up to you. So do I want hand grease or <laughs> scroll grease? Uh, hand grease or jar grease, because you have a you have a, a container or a jar of grease. Yeah. I'll just take the jar grease. Oh, okay. oh right. She, like dejectedly puts. I want to take. Like I want to take the the jar. No offense. And I'm, I'm gonna take the jar and I'm like. And I'm just gonna roll it like through like on my shoulders. You like, instantly become hella smooth as you join this. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, you like there's just something about like rolling around the, the the bottle of grease and just like being in this jacket and like greasing your hair back. Uh you feel greasy. <laughs> Go ahead and give yourself a tag called greasy. I'm greasy and slimy now. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it gives you advantage against being grappled. <laughs> but you are also weak to fire. God. God, that's very good. So, like, that's there's really people good. who like to use fire. It's slippery, yeah. There's a lot of fire here. Yeah, it's like <laughs> almost one of the factors. Yeah, I kind of got like a mouthful of it. <laughs> Twice. Yeah, the, it's oh, also, like... you're by a piano, which... <laughs> <It's also, laughs> you, got, you got about an hour left of fire invincibility or resistance. Sick. Yeah, unless I lose that concentration. <laughs> oh, you've taken damage at least twice. Oh, I have. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I'll be worried. You have this thought as you like sit down and you you realize that it's not there. Cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, what does uh, Pebbles' hair look like now? Well, it's a really big pompadour. <laughs> Do you think that would work? So just straight out in front. It adds oh, half my height. Oh, oh, oh. It's gonna make a bunch of monkey noises real quick. <laughs> what? Uh. I know it's not big and big like chairs hair from Moonlight, but I feel like Pompadour big might fit better because it's more like angry fighting novel. That is exactly like what I look like. Like this? Yeah. Oh, yeah! I got, I got a Phoenix Wright pole. What'd you get? I got Thomas? 15 of the most impressive pompadours in anime are <laughs> So you got a big pompadour. You got a big pompadour. Pompudor. 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 Can I use it as a weapon? No. <laughs> I mean, you can do psychological damage with it because it's really greasy. Okay. <laughs> that would upset me. Get really <laughs> you want to make something hard to pick up, just rub it in your hair. <laughs> You want to set a trap? Just rub your hair on the ground. If your hair on the ground, it's so like a weird, like, God. It's like an almost infinite source of greasiness. <laughs> Welcome to Bogusama. You're part of the family. Remember that blood is thicker than water. What is that? I Ooh. don't know. Jesus Christ. Right? It's not a pumpkin anymore. It's more like a fucking, like, tornado. Like, it's, it's gonna it suck It looks like an egg up. roll on his head. <laughs> 
God. Good lord. Um, after they do Pebble's hair, uh, she opens the door and she like ushers you on through. Like, get in there. I follow. All right, Janet. In fact, I go through right now. Okay. All right, Janet. I think this is farewell for now. And I'll see you when this is all over. I hope and so, buddy. I hope that there'll be a brighter future when the, the whole... I'm starting to walk away now. <laughs> 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 conversation. When the, the whole... The Pebbles whole... is just like sitting there short like... I'm invisible. Yeah, when the whole faction stuff is just kind of over with and... I don't know. We can all just be thieves in the, you know... <laughs> Do the thief tower shit. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Alright, I'm gonna head out. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. Yes. I'm not one for woods. Yeah, you should go, buddy. Yeah. I'm gonna rebuild my, my fucking bit. Alright, punch them all the shit. Fuck. God damn. That's a shame, huh? It's a bummer. I just have to I, sit in can front I, of Yeah. You I want? can't really help you. I, I'm promise. gonna go. I'm gonna go. Okay, bye. Uh, she closes the door behind you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gezo. That was damn long winded of you. Thank you for the distraction, though. Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> I, went through, I went through when she first opened the door. I wasn't sure, I couldn't see you. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's real fair. Like, at first, I was kind of annoyed. I was like, why the fuck is he being like, oh, he, he doesn't know that I'm here right now. I'm <laughs> uh-huh. Yep, that's what I was thinking the entire time. <laughs> Sure. Yep. <laughs> and we walk. <laughs> <laughs> you guys walk up the staircase. Uh, Gezo. The yes. chemistry. You appear in this room. We both have eight uh, charisma. <laughs> you see a woman, uh, or a dragonborn woman, uh, just like brushing like uh, sawdust towards this door, and she like realizes that she definitely will not be able to get like a, a big mountain. She just like sits on the pile. And uh, she, or she turns around and she says to me, she sees you, and she's like, who the fuck are you? Gezo? What do you want? Get the fuck out of here. Do you know where, see anyone coming through this uh-huh. way? Uh-huh, just been me. <laughs> I want to roll inside. Sure. I mean, you know <laughs> she's lost. <laughs> yes. Um, <clears throat> that would be 11. Uh, you can tell that she probably... Yeah, you know she's lying. Where's Nias? And I point a finger like this. Who the fuck? Who? I say his name. Sneely Sned. Sned. I never met no Sneely Sned. I've heard, I've heard legends of him. I heard he's like good at throwing daggers and shit, but... Never met him. Sounds fake. He ran up this way. I'm telling you, man, I ain't even seen the guy. All right, and I just walked past towards the door. Uh, yeah, 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 you can't go in there. Why? It's under orders of Archangel Tommy. Who? You can't go. Archangel Tommy. Who's Head Archangel of Tommy? Stop. Do we hear any of this? Head of Valgustama. Who's Gustama? Valgustama. <laughs> you, you need to back up. Buddy. Do we hear this? Back, back up right now. No. I don't no? know what's happening. Back, back up. Get to the center of the room. Why? Because I can't let you near this fucking door. Now fucking move before I make you move. But what's behind the door? Give me a dexterity saving throw. Why is Gizzo acting so innocent? Five. Gizzo's God. Not innocent. You he's trying to confuse as her as far as he's confused. She, uh, Bring him to the same level. She, yeah. like, very quickly reaches her hand into her, uh, her pocket and, like, swings around some brass knuckles before, like, slamming into them and, like, just clocks you right in the head. Ooh. Um, take. Take four. Four? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit. Uh, she reaches her hand into her other pocket and she pulls out her other brass knuckles and puts her hands up and she says, Listen, buddy, I ain't afraid to bash your fucking skull and now leave. Because of what's her spells? We probably mm. should have told. I think the other, uh, Jimmy went up with yeah. Jimmy went up with Gezo. Jimmy's good people. Yeah, yeah got it. Yeah. We'll see him. We'll see him a little up high. They were just scouting around. How big is this room? Yeah, they're probably uh, fine. It's, yeah. it's the same size as. I don't worry about Gezo. Room. Gezo's got kind of a trigger for you. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, that's, like, that's why. That's why. Oh, that's why Jimmy went so, up with him. Yeah. So if I had so a sixty foot cylindrical thing, I don't. I, they went up the other staircase. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. 
I mean, unless Gezo like... came down right as we were going up, and then followed the staircase <laughs> up right after we left. But, like, what are the odds yeah, that yeah. that happened? Okay. You know? There's no Concentrate no. for 10 minutes really within 120 yeah. feet. And we for sure hear anything that was happening in the race. In case it was. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, we should yeah, really just not look back and go forward. We'll probably see Jimmy and Gezo up there. Yeah. Points. And we're both very completely not uh, Must make a deck saving throw at the future. <laughs> I'm gonna be really um, sad when Jay decides. 3d10 on a failed save, a half on a successful. If it's already stormy, damage increased by 1d10 and 1d10 fire slots. Okay. So can I can like I see? <laughs> can you do Maybe, that as an action? Can think you like call a lightning bolt down? It's like a level of respect. respect. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's I don't think action. my character understands. Oh, okay. Can I see the book really quick? If not, I, I want to look at other spells. Yeah. So, we'll yeah. Are you fucking call lightning? He is, yeah. I think you need uh, sight up to the sky. Actually, it wait. Comes, it comes from the sky. Actually, I want to do something else. I changed my mind. Okay. I'm still figuring out how call lightning works. That's cool as fuck. Okay. You uh, literally make, like, thunder clouds. Call lightning. Don't worry about it. It's pretty solid. Like, you can see it. Uh, 100 feet directly above you. There's uh, like 100 feet of... Okay. Yeah, you almost have 100 feet of stuff in the way. Right. I want to cast Blight. <laughs> blight? What is that? Oh, no! <laughs> Choose a creature within 30 feet. They make a con save and throw in a failed save. Target takes 8d8 necrotic damage or half on a successful one. Oh, no, Janet! I Cre creatures and magical plants have disadvantage and damages maximum. Plants wither and die. Add 1d8 for higher slots. Is she a plant? Oh, shit. She's not a plant. She's a dragon board. Have you checked? Yes. Make a con save and throw. Certain. Holy shit. Uh, seven is what she got. That's a fail. Yeah, my spells, yeah, it's my spell save is way higher than that. How many um, D8 do you need? Uh, eight. Yeah, I see I use my level four save, my level four slot to I got get four. this one off of me. Oh, you got it. Seven, you got. You need one more from your dice. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So... One. Just roll them. I'm two. <laughs> five. Five. Eight. Jesus. Uh, twelve. Okay. Nineteen. One. God. So Twenty. 20. God. Okay. Twenty-six. Wow. Twenty-six. That was not. That's great. awful. That was really bad. It's pretty pathetic. Great. <laughs> Are you sure she's not a plant? I'm positive she's not a plant. Because I would be 56 damage if she was a plant. Right. She looks at you, and uh, she like, or you, what does it look like when you cast the light? You go, ah! <laughs> and, <laughs> and then like, like dark shit just comes out and like, uh, goes uh, into her face. You're like a spotted lizard gecko, right? I'm brass. What? Are you a lizard folk or a dragonborn? Dragonborn. Oh, okay, all right. How is that? Both reptiles. Nope. Yeah. Oh. I'm dragonborn. Okay. He doesn't right. like, So you he doesn't like go like twat, and there's like this wave of necrotic energy that flies out towards her and like kind of wracks her body. And she's like, oh, oh, okay. I see how it's gonna be. I see how it's gonna fucking be. Can I can I do it? Do we thing? hear that? No, we're gonna we're gonna this is like one on oh, one initiative now, okay. boyo. Um she like Did she take the damage? She took the damage, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was like she was doing this as it was coming at her. <laughs> I, was, I see how it's gonna be. I, I was waiting for it to just fucking hit her in the face. <laughs> and she go, ah! Um, she uh, reaches into her back pocket and like pulls out her switch, or her, uh, her butterfly knife, and she does like a, a cool flourish and she just like comes charging at you and she tries to give you the stubby stuff. So. 19 hit your AC. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I want you to take... Take 11. Jesus. Great. What is your spell casting? Um, your stat for spell casting? Um, wisdom. wisdom. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Um... That would be 11. Okay. Um, so she like swings her uh, switchblade around and she like stabs it directly into the like side of your chest and like gives it a twist. And as she does, you feel something just slide out of you. Uh, how many spell slots do you have? Available? Hmm. I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine available. Uh, you. You lose three spell slots. Jesus. Which ones? Um, your pick. 
Whoa. That's fuck. That's cool ability. Yeah. Okay. He like pulls the dagger out and he like does a flourish to like uh, swipe the blood off of the blade and you can see that it's like pure black. For those of you paying attention at home, yes. this is an onyx switchblade. Onyx has anti-magic properties. That's kind of cool. Uh, he looks at you and he says, don't make me do it again, boy. The next one's gonna hurt a lot My throat, fucking like, more. Stands like this. <laughs> Holy shit! Like a bat. <laughs> oh god! All right. Um. I just like he's like pulling it back. And he's already like fuck you. <laughs> um, make a deck saving throw. Okay. Seventeen. That su- that succeeds. That yeah, succeeds. Takes half, I think. Um. No, you don't take half. Wait, yeah, you don't take half of anything. So you just dodge it. Oh, uh, what do you spit out? Fire. Okay. Uh, like so, a line. Straight fire. Okay, you spit out a line of fire, and it like bur- it like bubbles up in your sack for a little bit, and then you just kind of like... <laughs> and she just like ducks under, like out of the way, and she like... She like dodges underneath the, the, the ray of fire and she like pulls her switchblade out again and she's like, by the light of Alice, I'm gonna put you in the fucking grave. And she, or as she says this, her switchblade uh, like glows with this holy energy. Great. <laughs> and she smite. Stabs you again. Divine smite. Let's get it. I do have a question. Is the yeah. tower made of wood? The tower is made of wood, yeah. Oh. From what I've seen, it seems magically enchanted against fire. Right. Yeah, because the there's been a lot of fire. <laughs> there's a whole team yeah. dedicated fire. to making fires. Yeah. Hey. The baby boomers. <laughs> that's that's what they were called. <laughs> kaboom. Baby, kaboom babies. Ooh. <laughs> baby kaboomers. Uh, the initial dagger lands directly into your chest once more. Sick. Take 12. Okay. And then give me what's in saving throw. That's better. Um, that's a natural 20. A natural 20? Unnatural, sorry. Okay, all right. Um, you feel the the weird... My baby! Uh, you feel weird, the weird you baby? You feel the weird baby. Uh, you feel this weird blade dig into your flesh one more time, Sick. and it tries to give off this, like, um... Uh, this magic seeping aura, uh, but you're able to just like fight it back. Uh, but as the blade is still in you, she says, "By the might of Alice, I smite you, smelly ass." Um. Uh, oh, and then you actually got smited. Yeah. This is a. a Take twelve. A palace in. I'm unconscious. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, no. Two faces a man, but a turning, and then Batman says, "No, it is two face and one face. They hate me for being a bat." What are you really You're reading, Batman? <laughs> I really want to read the <laughs> sentence before I start. Could I? Batman throws Alfred at Two Face. Two Face flips Alfred like a coin. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, Alfred lands, Alfred, Alfred lands heads up. <laughs> Two Face goes home. <laughs> Two Face lost the flip. <laughs> <laughs>